more noise, you know? Well, yeah, because the load is going to go up on the system now. The components are being used more, so the valves will become more active. I don't know if you guys can hear that on the stream or not, but there's a lot of clicking going on right now. But honestly, like, it's not that loud. You know, like, if I had a pair of headphones on, I mean, this is no longer, no louder than, like, a, a high-end water cooling rig with, like, 12 fans in it. You know? Right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's not radically different. I wouldn't say it's silent, but it's definitely not what I would call loud. But uh, so we're going to load this in and see if RoboClocker can get some kills. I made a special RoboClocker account just for this, but uh, we'll see if LN2 can actually improve my skills, which I'm not quite sure, but we'll try. So right now we're running at like 200 frames per second. So now the, these valves are opening and closing. GPU and CPU. So it can control these, it controls the GPU and the CPU completely independent, correct? Yep. It, this actually has five channels. So it could control technically f uh, up to four GPUs and one CPU. Yeah, so if you guys can't see it um, in the top, it might be a little bit small or maybe it's off the screen. In the top right hand corner, you can see the frame rate. It's uh, it's like 120, 100, and right now, right now it's 240 <laughs> frames per second. So, yeah, this is a uh, pretty badass machine, I have to say. This may be the best ever Fortnite machine ever put together and tested in Fortnite. I I would say it probably is. <coughs> is this game demanding? Uh, I wouldn't say it's the. It's definitely not the most demanding game, but it's cool to see what it can do. Um, so again, Titan V is in this machine, in case you guys missed that. And also, if you guys missed the giveaway, evga.com forward slash live giveaway. Secret word is RoboClocker. We're going to give away an EVGA X, oh, nothing in here. An X299 Dark, what? So I landed and didn't find much of anything. Well, I got this at least. So I... We tested out this machine very briefly, but uh, this is the first time like I'm really trying to see if if Roboclocker can really improve my skills. <laughs> oh boy, maybe not. You need a better gun than this. Okay, we got one. One kill for Roboclocker. So have you played any games on this, Vince? Uh, no, I know I you haven't. used to be a big Unreal <coughs> Tournament player, right? Huge. But uh, since then, since UT3, I really haven't been playing much. So Roboclocker's dead. Well, we got <laughs> one. So that's pretty good. So we did actually test out PUBG on this as well, just to try it. And we can try it as well after this. I'll try one more, and then we'll, we'll go into some PUBG. So right now in the lobby, we're like 250 frames per second. <laughs> pretty crazy. Yeah, that card's running cool as a cucumber. <laughs> Are cucumbers really that cool? I don't know. They scare cats. <laughs> yeah. So this, um, actually it's been running like pretty much this whole day, just kind of sitting here, you know? No real issues, just just humming away like it was a regular water-cooled rig. It'll go for days like this, till the LN2 runs out. So at Computex, you're going to have this on stage as well later in the show, correct? Yeah, on Thursday of this week, I'll be at Nangan. Uh, we're going to display this, kind of doing what it's doing now, but I'll probably be running Time Spy or Time Spy Extreme. Yeah. We'll be playing games. So this rig actually has achieved multiple world records. Yep. We so. got them on video, too. Uh, I don't know if you saw the video. It goes by a little quick, but we got the single card Time Spy, Time Spy Extreme, Fire Strike, Fire Strike Extreme, Fire Strike Ultra. This machine owns them all. So if you guys uh, missed the video in the very beginning of the stream, um, there, it's also on our YouTube channel. You can look at it now. Uh, this machine got five, five, right? Yep. Five world records. So basically, just by setting the temperatures, 
um, and setting the clock speeds, right? You're able to achieve all these world records. So this kind of has replaced Vince in a way, right? When it comes to pouring. I mean, there's still a lot of expertise you need to know, like with overclocking and pushing it to the limit. But when it comes to the, the art or the actual, you know, because it, it kind of is like an art, right? To, to be able to pour liquid nitrogen. Well, that, I guess that's the learned skill. Uh, the overclockers, the ones that are better at pouring, uh, tend to get the better scores, right? You can max the components out more when you can hold a really tight tolerance on the temperature range. Oops. But, you know, I can spend more time now tuning the system and doing other things rather than just standing there pouring that dial into. Right, so it allows you to be more efficient when you're overclocking, just like you said, by, you know, being able to, like, set clocks or things while it's running. It's like a machine gun, dude. I can machine gun off the records. I just, we just set it and just sit here and watch it run, 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 run. Uh, never so gets tired. Somebody asked what resolution. So it's 1080p. Somebody says set it to low and see what kind of frames. Uh, I don't know. We haven't tried this, but whatever. We'll try it. So there you go. Oh, boy. <laughs> Three, 400, four, 400 frames per second right now. Yeah, it's 400 frames per second at low settings. It's pretty crazy. So it's a 7980 XE Titan V. And how much RAM is in this machine? Uh, I believe 32 GB. 32 gigs. 440, 481, 490. Crazy. I think I can see better like this in low, low setting mode. Uh, in case you guys missed it, evj.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is RoboClocker, R-O-B-O-C-L-O-C-K-E-R. -O -O All right, we'll put this back to the epic settings on the epic rig. Looks nicer on epic. Yeah, definitely. That's what you get Titan Vs for, right? Yep. Max out everything. So if I wanted to build one of these machines, could I do it today? Yourself? There it, we go. One for RoboClocker. I think in the future the goal is to have, you know, some kind of DIY kit. Now that would be pretty sweet. So, I mean, you could get like a container of liquid nitrogen, plug it into your system. Like if you didn't want to bench that week, you could just play on it like the whole week. And yeah. then if you wanted to bench, you have the capability to go to like negative 100 degrees Celsius on all your components. Dude, you can do anything on this. You could day trade, you could, okay. uh, you could mine, you could play games, you can overclock. You can Watch do, YouTube videos. Yeah, you can do anything. <coughs> So right now, it's not set to like the coldest, right? So are we, are we able to try to push it to the limit and see if we can make it colder? Sure. Can we try that? Yeah, sure. Right now? Yeah, <laughs> why not? So what, what is it set to right now? On the, I mean, I see a lot of ice over there, but. Um, that's on the input side, because there's liquid there. Uh, yeah. Right now, it's just set basically uh, like an aggressive water cooling setup. Yep. But we can pull it down. Tin? So Tin over here has the control board, which he can specify different temperatures for the GPU and CPU. So once we do that, then I think that you'll probably, and actually we haven't tried this yet, so we'll see how, what happens. But you'll probably see the valves start to oh, yeah. make a lot more noise, right, as it's putting more LN2 into the system. Let's start off uh, minus 75. Wow. All right, so we're going to set it to minus 75 degrees Celsius right now. And it pulls down quick, man. It's no joke. It, this thing pulls down faster than any overclocker could ever pour down a pot. And why is the reason, what is the reason for that? Is it just more directed at, like, the components or? Uh, it's like the structure of the inside of the block and the, the flow and the pressure. It's just all so much more efficient and directed than... Yeah, so you can hear it getting wild yeah. now. Now it's getting loud. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. So I don't know if you guys could hear that this stream or not, but it is making a lot of noise right now. It's pulling the whole system down. Let's see where we're at. Oh, uh, yeah, it's already 28, 
26. Okay, I see I see some ice on the CPU block. 22, 20. Oh yeah, we're falling down hard now. Uh, hold on a second. Here. Well, I'm trying to trying to read text messages at the same time. Let's Put see. your yeah, we're below Kevin. zero now. Do you play better with this system? Uh, seems to be possibly. So it's making a lot of noise. Maybe you guys can hear some of that on Vince's. Looks good. Starting to get frozen. It's getting cold. Where are we at now? Oh, minus 20. Minus GPU is at minus 40 degrees right now. No. Can the nitrogen tanks explode? Somebody uh, else. Yeah, I can. It's under pressure, <laughs> so you got to be careful. <laughs> you got to be careful with it. But there is some safety built into it with like blow off valves and. The, you know, both of the tanks also have kind of like pressure release valves to prevent that. Correct? Yeah, I have the safety release valve on input and uh, output side, just in case. We we actually had an accident. <laughs> we had an accident here the other day. I blew one of the GPU blocks wide yeah. open. It was crazy. I mean, look, a, the shotgun went off. <laughs> so now it's 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 kind of quieting down a bit now. Yeah, it's it's getting down to temperature. So it's there's a lot of smoke coming off of that thing now. Oh yeah, <laughs> she's going cold. So what do, what are we at now? Temperature. So you said it's a negative seventy-five. Yeah. Still going. Yep. So as it's kind of quieting down, that must mean that it's probably getting closer to your target if it hasn't hit it already. Yeah, once the liquid fills all the lines and the, uh, the phase change will happen less. It's getting very frosty. This could probably help cool your room as well. It's, uh-oh. No! <laughs> That's how it usually goes. So to answer the question, do you play better with this system? So far, not really, but, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I just need to get a little bit more accustomed to the colder playing temperature. Yeah, I think you need to work on your skills. <laughs> yeah, right. So it's still going. So it's still still kind of making a lot of noise there, but I don't know if you guys can see it on the stream, but there is a pretty significant amount of ice, like on the CPU block at least, and and the GPU. So at this point, you would have to worry more about condensation. Less. Once it's all frozen like this, it yeah. stays stays frozen. Okay. But when you're sort of like closer to ambient, the condensation is worse. All right, so this is going to be the last match for us. Um, so let's see if we can get another kill at least. Roboclocker got two, though, so far. So, you know. Now you need to build a, a Roboclocker that can help improve my gaming skills. Yep. And then we'll Well, that would be cheating, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, this, this could... I mean, would you call this cheating already? Probably not. No. But uh, for, for, for it does give you a lot more FPS for sure. Oh, yeah. So when are you going to set up? So you haven't set it up with SLI yet, right? Or have you tried? Yeah, we, we ran SLI internally. Uh, we might run GPU Pi on Titan V next week. Okay. With four valves. That would be really cool. Try to go for a record. Uh, I want to do four-way, of course. Yes. All right, this will be the last match, and then uh, we'll move on to the next segment so it's still running fine even though it's extremely cold 
So even though it's negative 75 degrees, I mean, you have like some around the, the tube where the liquid nitrogen is being, oh, around the tubes, you have, they seem to be kind of insulated. Well, that's just a flexible stainless line. It's not vacuum insulated. So with, without that black foam on there. It would just be ice everywhere. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, as you can see in the video, it's ridiculous, right? We ran it for like seven hours straight. It's, it's been running the entire day, pretty much. Nothing in here. So how can I get one? Can I get one of these machines to improve my RoboClockers or my gaming skills? Mm, I'm not sure if it's going to help here. <laughs> <laughs> so what temperature are we at now, Tin? S on the GPU? So we're about negative 65 degrees Celsius. So what's the coldest that you've ran with the system on the GPU and CPU? Uh, I, I tested uh, Z270 with this, actually. Or no, it was Cabby Lake. I tested Cabby Lake with it, and I ran it full pot, like minus 195, 196. Wow, so almost negative 200 degrees. Yeah. So in case you guys missed it, evga.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is RoboClocker. Bad shot. Secret word is RoboClocker. We are giving away an EVGA X299 dark motherboard. Actually, the same motherboard that is in this machine, which can, you can get your hands, maybe someday you'll be able to get your hands on a RoboClocker machine and you can run this cold. But uh, this is a pretty early working prototype stage, I guess you maybe would call I would it? say it's a little beyond the prototype stage. Uh, Sometime in the not too, too distant future, I think we'll have a solution. Uh oh. This may be it for me. Roboclocker's doing all it can to save me. Negative 70 degrees on both the CPU and the GPU. Still alive. Somehow. Yeah, the, the uh, motherboard and the VGA have good preparation, so they can pretty much run. So is there a lot of work that you have to do to be able to get them to run this cold without, like, getting water all over them? or? Well, I have them covered with grease. The Vaseline. So... Pretty hard to kill him. Oh, and I'm almost out of ammo, too. <coughs> All right, this is going to be the final call for the giveaway. EVJ.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is RoboClocker. R-O-B-O-C-L-O-C-K-E-R. RoboClocker is the secret word. It's pretty good, getting pretty frozen, though. Oh, and that's it for me. So that is 